Hey guys, my name is Nathan, and welcome back to Money Matters. Today on the channel, I'm going to take you through Millennial Farmer and everything you need to know about why and how they've been able to run one of the most successful YouTube channels. This is one of the most successful channels sharing the best of farming-related content, so be sure to stick around to the end to learn all about farming and Millennial Farmer. 36-year-old Zach Johnson, better known as the Minnesota Millennial Farmer, to his 808,000 plus YouTube subscribers, is a fifth generation prolific farmer from Minnesota. This YouTuber is known for his handheld camera and the flourishing farm of soybeans and corn, among other crops. Though not one to publicize his life on the internet, the bit that we know of makes him one of the most watched YouTubers, especially when it comes to all matters farming. The big question though is this, how has a YouTuber that talks about farming while sharing snippets of his family on the farm been able to run such a successful channel on YouTube. Gaps. Zach is the face behind Millennial Farmer, but in truth, he started this channel alongside his wife, Becky, who needed to inform people the truth about farming. With a lot of misleading information online, and especially on social media about farming, and an itch to provide interested people and new farmers with accurate farming tips, the Millennial Farmer was born. You'll agree with us that most of the information peddled around about farming can be misleading especially when it's not shared by an actual farmer. Millennial Farmer knows this all too well, and his videos are all about things that actually happen on the farm. The challenges faced, how to overcome these challenges, and how new farmers can start off on the right foot, knowing what to expect, what to do, and what not to do, while having a good laugh about some of the missteps taken in the past. Family Life Who doesn't love a good love story? Love and family life that bears it all showing and reminding us of what happy, memorable moments are made of. Zach and his family clearly have this down, and they know that there would be no better way for them to connect with you than through letting you in on their family life, even if that means exposing you to just the snippets. If you grew up on a farm, this channel allows you to reminisce your childhood, and if you consider yourself a family man or woman, and if you spend much of your time researching methods and things that would make your babies have the very best of life experiences, Millennial Farmer would be very appealing to you. The farm life could have popped up on your radar a number of times. Well, watching the Millennial Farmer gives you a view of what that life would be like. This video is an exact example of what we're talking about. You'll agree with us that seeing his kids and wife running happily down the farm can give you the fuzzies, and that might push you in the farm life direction too. Of course, we may not all be in a position to move to a farm at the moment's notice, but this peep into his lifestyle makes the content much more relatable. And in addition to learning all about what is new and hot in farming today, you'll also learn about how to raise a happy, wholesome family. And for many of us, it's all that really matters. The family dynamics within the Millennial Farmer's family and their relationships with other people featured in the videos is the channel's greatest point of appeal. Relatable, relevant, and high-quality content. Quality content is one of the things that Zach and Becky appear to have mastered. Since the start of the channel in the spring of 2016, Millennial Farmer has grown their subscribers list significantly, and we can only attribute this to the wholesome nature and quality of their content. That only meant that viewers wanted more, and they just had to subscribe and not miss a thing. Quality goes hand in hand with consistency, and these two make us applaud the Millennial Farmer. The Millennial Farmer not only puts out high quality videos that share the best about farming, but also share relevant information that people want to watch, even when living out in the city. This can be seen in one of their videos that have raked in over 3.6 million views. Peep their tractor stuck in the mud video. To be able to gain such high viewership, have over 400,000 views on pretty much all your video uploads, and have over 800,000 people subscribe to your channel today, it only means that you're producing some top-notch content for your audience, and you're doing it consistently. Millennial Farmer also reels in the thousands of subscribers because of Zach's natural ability to build an almost intimate connection between consumers and farmers by facilitating and encouraging collaborative conversions with everyone involved or interested. His videos are all about his farm, how the farm exists, and how the crops grow. He also gives his take on different farming techniques while discussing different hot topics, right from the tractor's cab, the excitement around big machines and technology. In one of his interviews with CNBC in 2019, Zach credited his success to what he theorizes as the three-act narrative, featuring the right setup, conflict, and a resolution. But his theory is something we can only consider the tip of the iceberg, he must have done something right in a big way to make farming such a huge hit online. Well, one of the things that we believe to have catapulted the channel to such great heights of success right from the beginning is the gearing up for harvest video. 
which went up during the harvest season of 2017. In this video, the focus was on the combine harvesters, more specifically, what these harvesters were doing, how they worked, and he even shared the steps they took and the things that they did as they got close to the harvest seasons. This video raked in over 100,000 views in less than four days, something he attributes to the excitement that builds up around big machines. People are wowed by big machines. Since then, it was clear to the millennial farmer that the big machines brought in more views, and they've capitalized on this since. Having noticed the demands for such content, he now shares many other videos on agricultural machinery, where he not only reviews these big machines, but also shares training videos on them. One such video is the John Deere S780 Harvest debut video, or That's Bad. Both were uploaded a year ago and have more than 2 million views each. Talk about a chance to live and learn farming from the relatable farmer next door. Real, bare truth. The internet can be very misleading, and information shared about farming can be skewed and not always the real truth. But the millennial farmer understands that he can only remain credible if he shares the raw truth about what exactly goes on in his farm. Whether pesticide is used or not, the exact pesticide used, this has always been a controversial topic, and he handles it with such grace and facts. The farming methods employed, machinery used, and even mention the controversial products that may find their way into the farms. He doesn't stop there though, and all his viewers are sure to learn something about the reasoning behind their methods, not to mention his views on GMO foods and crops, and how the millennial farmer presents any form of negative impact on the environment. Want to see what actually happens on a family-run farm? What machinery is used to till the land or harvest produce? How about what they do when the tractors and harvesters break down midway through a time-sensitive harvesting or processing session? What about what happens during or after a hailstorm? If it snows? Or if a tractor topples over? And all other sorrows that go with farming? Or even what machinery or equipment is ideal for your farm? The Millennial Farmer shares raw videos of all of these processes, and not just reels of the best in farming. This level of transparency sells, and Millennial Farmer knows it. After all, isn't farming about getting all down and dirty? Well, this is why he is successful. Farmers find his content relatable and educational, while anyone else who's interested in farming knows exactly what to expect. Sponsorships Their increasing number of subscribers means that the Millennial Farmer is getting many more subscribers. The sponsorships mean more money in the bank for them, but it also means more exposure. With many more brands partnering with the Millennial Farmer, there's an overall increase in their audience, and this has led to increased success. One of their biggest sponsors remains that Farmer Business Network. They're the sponsors for the Millennial Farmer's podcast, and they've propelled the channel to the great heights they boast of today. Ads Sponsorships are a great way for YouTubers to earn, but the good old ads still do the trick. As Johnson discovered after the initial success of the Gearing Up for Harvest video, after this video went viral, so to speak, Zach signed up for Google AdSense, with ads curated based on the content created and the kind of visitors they attracted. This move earned him $92 initially, something that blew him away. After all, he made $92 just for filming himself out on the farm, talking about something he did. This was a big eye-opener for him, and they've since made this one one of their biggest earning strategies, and they reap big rewards for it. Content Diversity Millennial Farmer understands that their brand is more than a plain old YouTube channel, and to grow the brand, they've diversified and have taken to public speaking engagements, merchandise, farm tours, and they even have a podcast, Off the Husk. Get it? State of mind? Now this is something that Zach knows all too well, and he frames his intentions in a way that tells you the channel isn't just about the money. At the heart of the brand is Zach's intentions and hopes of becoming what he describes as a smarter farmer. This, he posits, is possible through sharing his experiences on the farm, learning from others, including experts, and visiting other farms to learn more about other kinds of farming, as well as the business practices. Pretty smart if you ask me. Talk about farming, and the money will come to you. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching.